Inaugural show, inaugural history walk. So because we've got a couple of professional tour guides and lots of people who really know the show backwards, this is actually a workshop. We didn't want to tell you that before you got here, but we're all in this together. Now the first thing we've got to ask, of course, is why is it the Ridley Memorial Gate? Now Mr. Sweck's not allowed to answer, he knows too much. We'll call on him for expert. The Ridley Stumphouse? For the Ridley Stumphouse? No, no, no. Later. You're warm. That, the stump jump plough was, 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 was somebody else. Nice. Yeah. You're warm though. You're on the, you've got the right idea. A harvester, indeed. A, a stripper. Basically the stripper, because you think it's 1843 in Adelaide and we're farming wheat as far away as Hindmarsh. You know, we're, we're, we're slowly, there's lots of wheat paddocks even close by. And Ridley was a flower mill by then at High Marsh, and he could see that we're going to get to the stage where we're growing too much wheat to be able to take off by hand. So he starts thinking about the mechanics of it. And he came up with the first stripper, and he entered it at the Royal Show as a newfangled agricultural device, and they gave him a big prize for it, and it was recognised, of course, then. And by the way, he didn't take out a patent. He thought it was his contribution to agriculture and so he's regarded as one of the pioneers of our agriculture system that's still very strong today. Seven billion dollars worth of wheat uh, and uh, barley still uh, in South Australia so that's why it's the Ridley Gate and it does give you an idea of, of when, the, when they moved here in 1925 this was farmland and if you get up the top you get that sense of the city's way over there one of the things that really worried the show when they came here was would the people come all this way? <laughs> yeah, was it wow. too far out of town? <laughs> because there was a little village called Goodwood and there was uh, an Anzac Highway by then. Right at, there was a Bay Road, it wasn't Anzac Highway yet. And then there were just villages. And in fact, even as we, we'll see an old photograph later on, where even in the 1930s, it wasn't far that way before you got into paddocks. And of course the airport was basically a, a swamp, swamp, a winter swamp. over there, about where the uh, side of the Centennial Hall, and we're going to stand in front of the map. This is a big bet. No. <laughs> yeah, you said it was a big bet. Yeah. Two bucks. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon about now we would be standing in the Hall of Industries. And what was in the Hall of Industries? Show bags. Now, does anybody go back as far as when they were free? You do. They were free, weren't they? Yeah, you were very young at the time. Rosella. <laughs> yeah, Rosella. Uh, Cadbury's. Sanitarium. Yeah, Wheat Bix. Yeah, we're, we're going to see a sa some of the old samples, because they weren't called show bags, they were called sample bags, because they were free. It was all about encouraging us to buy the goodies. So this was... This was an important major hall about here, and over the last 10 years they've slowly cleaned this out to create this lovely avenue. And I think you'd agree, I think it's a vast improvement. I remember about here was where they sold the jam-filled donuts. That's it. Come in, this lady's going to tell you something. Now, what, what, what did they used to say? Making, baking all the time. Making, baking, cooking all the time. That's it. Now we've moved past the Hall of Industries. What do you reckon was about here? Can anyone remember? It was a sort of hexagonal. It was a hexagonal, you remember it, Robert, as the Rothman Theatre. Rothman Theatre. Rothman Theatre, Ed. Who remembers watching the grand final here? The replay, yeah. yeah. Collingwood and Carlton, yeah. uh, St Kilda and Collingwood in 66. And yeah. on and on, yeah. So and back and white. 
Sturton, somewhere in colour too. Yeah, and they, and I think they showed the local one, Sturton yes. Port, yeah. so on, because yeah. they used to have a, 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 the whole thing in colour, in film. Yeah, yeah. 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 The Rothmans Theatre X. This is actually my favourite bit of the show, but we haven't got time to stay. It goes back, the first show was held in 1840. Only, I mean, we only got here at the end of 1836, so it was very early on, and they decided they could do their own agricultural show. We'll, we'll talk about it inside. So if you want to know anything fine grained, if you reckon that your great grandfather won a prize for a, what would it be, maybe an Angus ball or something, well, Marilyn can prove or disprove that because it's in the record. So the entire show records are as much as you've got. Back to 1880 anyway. Wow. Oh, wow. Now we were saying just outside that this 1840 is the first show. We can't show you where it was because the pub's not there anymore. <laughs> what was the name of it? The Fordham's? Fordham's. Fordham's pub in Grenfell Street. They held a sort of half day show. But it was the first show. It was, and, and some of the names associated with the first uh, show uh, society: Captain Sturt, John Morford. Uh, these, you know, uh, McLaren, Baron Rail. These are people who were very early into everything. So I didn't know till last night how Wavell got its name, but it was named after a, uh, a clergyman, the Reverend uh, Way who started a little college out here, within, must have been you know, between Adelaide and Goodwood. Yeah, yeah. And so Wayville was called after him. Yeah. And his son became Sir Samuel Way, and the big court building in Victoria Square, the old Morse building, that's Sir Samuel Way building. So really Wayville was named after uh, the father of a very famous uh, Chief Justice, Attorney General, Chancellor of the University and so on. You know this lady here? Joan Hardy. Joan McGuinness. Lady Joan Hardy. Two prize winners. Yeah, she married Jim Hardy of uh, Australia Cup, uh, America's Cup fame. But Joni McGuinness was on Adelaide tonight. So now, Marilyn, we've got a big bet going here. We want to know do we agree that's the building we were talking about? It's in the grass area now yeah. where, where the yeah. new stage is. So that's about right? The yes. Hamilton Hall. Or the Hall of Industries. It was both! Oh. <laughs> so we owe each other a booty bag. I'll buy the show bag and we can share it. Right. It's a deal. Oh, Marilyn, I thought I had that in the bag uh, too. Right. So it was called the Hamilton Hall. They, this is the one that they built as the heavy horse pavilion. They had room for over 100 horses in there, big stalls. But by the time they got here, they turned it into the dairy pavilion and it stayed that way till today. To inside to the back here, there's a tremendous uh, SA Gourmet Trail. All South Australian gourmet foods, lots of tasting, lots of things to take home. Pickles and jams and olives and honeys and so on. I always stock up on my blue gum honey when I come down here. The jelly slice. Now that you've uh, finished the uh, history walk, Keith. Uh, yeah, I finished the history Did we finish the history walk? <laughs> Did we get there? I think the CWA scones finished me off. <laughs> they were beautiful. They were nice. Maybe one too many. <laughs> uh, fire up. <laughs> 